Distributed intelligence is a disruptor, a true disruptor. The new concept five years ago is already becoming the norm in the industry. So there are two main drivers for distributed intelligence. And one has to do with grid operations and the other with transforming the consumer experience. And on the grid operations side, the expansion of distributed generation into the grid means that the utilities no longer have control over generation, they no longer have control over power flow, and they no longer have control over load. So the centralized control model just doesn't work anymore. And so instead, the distribution grid needs to become a living, breathing organism that is capable of responding in real time to conditions at the edge as they occur to take advantages of opportunities or correct for conditions that need to be corrected. That's why you're seeing so much focus and so much investment, not just from ITRON, but across the entire energy management space in distributed intelligence because distributed intelligence is exactly that, moving the analysis, the decision-making, and the action to the edge of the grid, close to where the problems are. If we look at utilities today, we're seeing massive change in two areas. One is the general level of consumer expectation, that today consumers expect immediate information, services to be complete, and they expect it to happen easily. At the same time, we're seeing the emergence of competitors on the consumer side of the retail space that have emerged at a much greater pace than we had anticipated even five years ago. Those in the energy management space, those getting into the, the consumer advisement space, that's all competition as we look into the future for the management of real-time transactions across the grid at the edge where prosumers are selling to their neighbors. As utilities, there's a need now to have that intelligent point of presence right at the transformation point between the utility and the consumer to ensure that they are the incumbent managing those transactions and managing the stability of the grid as we move forward. So as utilities consider investments in distributed intelligence, there are three main things that they need to consider. And the first is that an investment in AMI is a 15 to 20 year marriage with that technology. As we look at how rapidly the market is evolving, as we look at how rapidly the expectations are evolving, and as we look at how rapidly the competition is evolving, utilities really need to consider that same ability to evolve and transform across time, offer new services and new functionality that they didn't even think of when they were writing their requirements for a new system and we as vendors didn't think of either. And so it's really important to have a technology in place that can evolve through the app concept at the same rate as the market and the requirements. So the second consideration is not just how does the technology enable that evolution, but how does the implementation of that technology allow that evolution across an ecosystem of solutions? That throwing a bunch of processing power and throwing a bunch of memory into a device does not enable the utility long term to grow and to move as they need to. We need to make sure that there is an open ecosystem that allows the applications and the services to be developed by anybody to run on that infrastructure without requiring lengthy and expensive integrations. And the third consideration is a more practical economic one. If we look at the AMI space, many utilities are sitting in a condition where the business case is right on the threshold point from an ROI of a business case that will justify an AMI expansion versus a business case that will not. And what distributed intelligence allows us to do with the added value that it brings to the solution is 
push those business cases well on to the positive side of ROI to move those through those regulatory approval processes. It's important to plan for the future now. Those who don't plan now will be left behind. Thank you.